<laughs> James Clapper outright lied to Congress. Well, what? I mean, he made a mistake. Is that what you're saying? No, I did, no, <laughs> no. he didn't make a mistake. No, that's not what he no, said. No, when the que- when the question was posed to him, are you collecting data on hundreds of millions? Do you have hundreds of millions of dossiers on people? Yeah, let's listen to this. Does the NSA collect any type of data at all on millions or hundreds of millions of Americans? No, sir. No, no sir. Okay. So that's a, he said, quote, that's a mistake. No, that's not a mistake. That's a lie. Yeah. And then he came out and he said, my response was clearly erroneous. No, it's a lie. Mm. In fact, if I may say, you perjured yourself, you weasel. Yeah. This is perjury. The guy, and it's not about an affair this time. Will we prosecute for perjury? No Answer, way. no. He said he wants to apologize because mistakes will happen, and when I make one, I correct it. Oh it's not gosh. a mistake. Oh, my god! It's not a mistake. It's a lie. Okay, then. A mistake is when you accidentally do something. A mistake is when you, you drive your brand-new car into the side of your garage. That's a mistake. No, I don't know who did that. I don't no, know. That's I, operator I, I error. No idea. That was just a random example. I don't know of anybody actually doing that. Yeah. But that's a mistake. Does that your you don't wife, do that Does your wife purpose. know anybody who's done that? I don't think so. I right. have to ask her, but right. I'm pretty sure she does. Actually, she probably didn't for a while, did she? <laughs> she not for about two days, no. Right. And then, and then she gets this phone call. It's like, your car is ready. And she's like, what car? <laughs> it wasn't that bad. Uh, uh, by the way, on the mistake front, too, mm. it's one thing, because you could say, well, it was a mistake. In the, in, the, in the heat of the moment, you get a question that's very difficult to answer, and you think to yourself, well, I can't answer this. I'm not sure what to say, and you, you handle it improperly. But when you know the question is coming in advance, mm-hmm. and you still say that answer, that's definitely, definitely not a mistake and an outright lie. And honestly, when you know in advance, it's completely perjury. It's perjury. Absolutely it's perjury. Is. He knew yeah. it's perjury. Just don't sh- just, but just you know don't what? answer. You know what? They're not going to do anything. You know why? Because they have collected data on everybody. Yeah. They have. Okay, next one. White House delays uh, the universal health care. My gosh. The employer mandate. Now, they're, they're, they're delaying this until after the next election. Now, they've already delayed the first time it went through. We had to wait till we passed it to see what was in it. Then we saw what was in it, but nobody really pays any attention because they delayed that implementation until the last presidential election was over. Now they're delaying it till the next congressional election is over. They're going to keep delaying this until the until this party is out of power, and then it will all kick in, and the American people will say, "What the hell happened?" And you know what? It's clearly a disaster. It's too late to fix it. Yeah. It's too late to fix it. If you continue to delay it, there will be no choice. Our, our, our country, our business, our hospitals, our doctors will be in total chaos. Which, oh my gosh, who wants chaos? Our enemies, the weather underground types. The, those who are into the uh, 12th imam, who I don't know if the president, he wasn't, he wasn't born in Iran. I don't know if they believe in the 12th imam where he was born, Hawaii. <laughs> but they want chaos, too. Everybody who's on the dark side is rooting for chaos. Who's the author of chaos? Let me go to Austin. If you don't know what side you're on right now, if you don't know who you're actually fighting, I've told you before, we are not fighting. We're not fighting with the president of the United States. We are not fighting with the Democrats. We are fighting evil. And if you don't believe me, yesterday in Austin, the governor decided that he was going to call for a special session what they're doing is they are, they've already passed this bill, but because the Democrats stood in the way, they passed it at one minute past the session, so they had to call for a special session. So now all the protesters are there in front of Austin, which I believe we should fence in. So they're standing there in front of uh, the Capitol building in Austin, 
and people are singing Amazing Grace. The, the pro-death people are chanting things like Mary should have had an abortion, meaning Jesus should never have been born, mm-hmm. and Hail Satan. Listen to this. Now, it's hard to understand because you can hear the singing. of They're singing Amazing Grace. But in the background, if you listen carefully, you can also hear them chanting Hail Satan. end uh one of the protesters comes right in front of the camera and chants hail satan several times uh it's it's really it despicable is, stuff it's it's beyond despicable it's disturbing yeah it's disturbing the it, hatred it, there is so have, clear we have gone from a country that was politically divided to one that is so spiritually divided the darkness is growing you see what happened in turkey The, what is it, vice prime minister, assistant prime minister, deputy prime minister. He is, um, he came out and he blamed the unrest in Turkey on anybody? The Jews. The Uh, Jews. The Jews. The Jews are responsible for the unrest here. Are they now? Are they? The writing is on uh, on the uh, wall and it is so clear to see. If you really if you really want to stand with people who are chanting hail satan to people who are singing amazing grace if that's who you choose to stand with then it is already too late for our nation Martin Luther King said you show you show the american people good and evil you let them see it you put it side by side and the american people will choose to do the right thing i don't know who the american people are anymore have has the damage been done so long ago that we no longer care about anything but our stuff it's independence week what does that even mean to you There will be no Independence Week next year or the year after that or the year after that. Look at how many of your rights have already eroded. Let me give you another story. This one is um, this one is a college student, 19 year old liberal arts major. Went to campus. Was told she had to take her her necklace off. Now, this is a campus in California, Sonoma State University. She was working at a student orientation event. Her supervisor told her to take the necklace off because it's going to offend incoming freshmen. You know what it was? A cross. She was wearing a cross around her neck. Her boss gave her an ultimatum. You either then hide it under your shirt or take it off entirely. The necklace was not allowed under the chancellor's rules, and wearing it would, be po- would potentially offend attendees and make them feel unwelcome. <laughs> how, do, how does someone wearing a cross make anyone else feel anything? Hail Satan. Wow. If you don't know what's happening mm. in our country, and I've got news for you, if your mm. preacher isn't talking about what's happening in this country every Sunday... And telling you, get the hell out of that church. If they are not telling you what's going on and presenting what is happening as good versus evil, not politics. It has nothing to do with the president of the United States. It has nothing to do with the Democrats versus the GOP. It has nothing to do with that. Our lawmakers no longer understand the law. 
and I mean the earthly law, they don't even understand it. I get a kick out of these people who say, read the bill. What good is reading it if you don't have a pack of attorneys? They don't even know the law. They've made it so convoluted and so complex that you need a pack of attorneys. Well, what does that do? That makes all of us a criminal. Well, I'm not doing anything illegal, aren't you? Our congressmen can't even tell you if they're doing something illegal because it's too complex. Our preachers have lost the way and have fallen silent or, in many cases, are on the wrong side. Our people no longer seem to care anymore about anything. When you can have a group of people chanting around a state capital, Hail Satan, and nobody seems to care about that, I don't recognize my country anymore. I am a man determined to be free. When... Mich- when uh, I came close. When this president's wife, who shall not be named without a $20 fine, when this, when this president's wife says she feels like the White House is a prison, my wife s- stood next to me and she said, why is that? Because she can't go exactly where she wants without security? Is that it? And my wife said that after My security detail had just told my children, and I had just talked to my children about, okay, guys, security, you can't be running around. You've got to listen to security. They are just like dad. If they say something, you do it. You live in the White House. They stop all planes for your plane. You haven't stopped at a traffic light in five years. Don't tell me about this prison you're in. Cry me another river, Lady Macbeth. I say we set them both free. Mm, let them out of that prison. Uh, you know, <laughs> we set them free. I say free the Obamas. That's that. And that was worth 20 bucks. <laughs> I say that we show them the inside of a real prison. But maybe that's just me. We can start with James Clapper. 